My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about platform engineering, the evolution of platform engineering and is it going to affect DevOps engineering in any ways? So this has been a constant question. I think most of you also have this question. Uh, I see this question on LinkedIn, YouTube comment section and people are also messaging me and asking this question. So I thought I'll make one video and make it crystal clear what is going to be the future of all three of them, platform engineering, DevOps and SRE. So I'll answer this question very directly without wasting any time. Platform engineering, DevOps and SRE, all three of them will coexist in the future. So it, it is not like uh, evolution of SRE is going to affect platform or uh, DevOps. All three of them will have very clear boundaries. What DevOps engineering is going to do, what platform engineering is going to do, what SRE is going to do. Right now, in most of the companies, it is DevOps engineering who is doing all of these things because, you know, there is no clear boundaries. Like you have a very large DevOps team and this one single DevOps team is doing all of the things. In future, these DevOps teams will be shorter, but the DevOps engineer will play the role of platform engineers and SRE engineers because, you know, if you have to create a new uh, set of stream, you have to create a new team which is called platform engineering the most closest or you know the people who want to evolve to the platform engineers would be devops engineers so that's where the future is going to be and i think 2017 when i was working in a product based company we already had a very clear distinction between platform engineering and devops engineering and back in 2017 we were able to do it so right now you know many companies are adopting platform engineering and like i told you the evolution of platform engineering is going to be good. The future of platform engineering will be very good because they are the ones who are going to create platform for the developers. Or, you know, they are going to streamline uh, the set of tools, the set of platform that is going to be used in the organization. But trust me, it is going to be the DevOps engineers who will evolve into the roles of platform engineers. And there will be a clear distinction. There will be a clear boundaries. There will be clear roles and responsibilities of DevOps engineers and platform engineers. So that way, you know, the market is going to be categorized, but the, it will not kill one another. Like, you know, SRE will not going to be kill, uh, will not kill uh, DevOps and platform engineering will not kill SRE and DevOps. And now going, like if I go one step ahead and if we talk about this problem, first of all, what I would like to tell you is do not go into the assumptions that Evolution of chat GPT is going to kill developers. Evolution of platform engineering is going to kill something else. It's never going to happen. The only thing that would happen is the increase of efficiency. When chat GPT, you know, you should look it as a tool that's going to increase the efficiency of developers. Platform engineering, it's going to improve the efficiency of your organization. DevOps engineers plus platform engineers is going to be the future. So this is how you have to think and do not get all of these things into your brain. You know, when someone says that uh, DevOps engineering will not be there in next 10 years, DevOps engineering will not be there in next 20 years. There are some blogs that you're reading or, you know, you ask me this kind of questions in the comment section. So you should take this as an opportunity. When you see that there is something called platform engineering, read about it. As a DevOps engineer, how you can migrate to that role, how you can switch to that role of platform engineering. This has to be your approach. This has to be your mindset. Now, if you look at the roles of SRE or if you look at the category called SRE, most of the SRE engineers are DevOps engineers who have, uh, you know, they have learned new things. They have learned about uh, SRE and they have migrated to the roles of SRE. Of course, developers have also chosen the role called SRE, but mostly DevOps engineers have upgraded themselves into SRE. And similarly, DevOps engineers will upgrade themselves into platform engineer. So this is how it's going to be. And if you want to learn more about platform engineering, I can talk about it. I can uh, say how you can streamline or how you can build uh, the ecosystem of platform engineering in your organization. Uh, because this is not relevant to the topic. In this video, I want to clear the myths. I want to clear out uh, the confusion that is there in the market. So that's, that's why I'm making this video. And I just want to repeat one more time. The evolution of something is never going to kill something else, but you should take this as an opportunity of choosing, shaping your career, improving and upgrading yourself to platform engineers. If, if, I mean, if you are interested, of course, but if you want to stick yourself to DevOps engineers, then definitely there will be a good career as a DevOps engineer and you will excel if you are a learning everything that is required for DevOps engineering. Thank you so much. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions about platform engineering, 
it's a very uh, good medium to discuss. You can post anything that you have in the comment section and I'm going to definitely reply to each and every comment of this video to make sure your myths or your confusions or whatever your uh, problems with DevOps and platform engineering are clear. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.